Hey, everyone, welcome back to Oblivion. So last time, we forged some papers to get Lex from the Anvil and removed from the Imperial City, and now we got told we got away from a message directly from the Grey Fox. So I'm expecting they're probably going to contact us in the meantime whilst I'm waiting around doing jack shit, so, uh... Yeah, I'm waiting for the fence to open a house because we have so much stolen booty on us right now, like we have to get rid of it. We literally cannot move for the crap we are carrying, so I'm going to wait around until she opens up. We might get contacted in the meantime, maybe we won't. Who knows? Spoilers, it's happening. I have a message for you from the Grey Fox. Yeah, I kind of figured you might. What's the message? The Grey Fox has a task for you. Meet him at Helvius Cecia's house in Bruma. Helvius Cecius? What kind of random ass name is that? And by the way, why the hell is Methhead in charge? Like she's second in command or something. When we joined the Thieves Guild, she was there trying to join with us, and we stole a book off her so she couldn't join, so we joined. So surely, we joined before she did. Why the hell is she second in command? Don't make no sense to me. Anyway. Whatever, right, I'm gonna wait around till this winch jump the house, cause like I say, I really, really need to fence this crap. What the hell? Why is she still not open? You know what? Screw this nonsense, we're breaking in. It's a very easy lock, we shouldn't get caught. Maybe she'll throw us out, I really have no idea, but uh, I really need to get rid of this junk. Like, desperately. Oh, wait, what? Why does the house look completely different? Uh, we're in the wrong house. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke into the wrong house. Whoops. That might explain. <laughs> that might go some way to it. Yeah, it's over here. Well, shit. Okay, she's actually open. What, cut, maid? What the hell are you doing? My... Follow me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that might explain why she was never open, because apparently that wasn't actually her door. Whoops. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Well, actually, I can't again. Hey, there you are. Is this pleasure or business? You know me, baby. Always so pleasure. Today? And a little bit of business. Okay, I'm gonna sell this crap. That's how much money we have now. Let's see how much we have when we're done. Okay, I believe that's everything. So we've made just over two grand. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's just keep this affair between the two of us. Discretion is my middle name. Jason Discretion you. McGrizzle. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of here. So anyway, last time we got a bunch of random side quests. I think we're going to do the Aura of the Virtuous Blood, because as I recall, it's kind of a cool quest. And uh, yeah, we got that one last time. You may remember some random chick come up to us in the middle of the freaking night, scared the crap out of me. And she told us that her husband wants us to go see him. So we're going to go do that. So I'll see you when we get there. Oh yeah, I believe the fellow's house that we're looking for should be right around uh, here. Yes, and we have the maid with us. Shocking. Absolutely freaking shocking. Okay, well that was going on here. Hello. Nice hair. It's an honor to finally meet you. When I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Seridur. Are you the long-lost third Jedward brother? Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. If you'll come with me. Sure, complete stranger. Lead on. Splendid. Watch your step. And he smashes a vase over my head. I'll trust you, sir. Who the hell's this midget? Why do you bother me? Go I'm Sylvan Dolovas, assistant and bodyguard to Serador. Let's leave it at that. More like Sylvan Dumbass. Don't talk to me like that again or I'll kick your midget ass. Okay, move along, Jedward. I, I, really, pewter, you cheap son of a bitch. Move along, Jedward. What the hell is this guy doing? Do I really have to trail him? Like, holy shit. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, I vaguely remember this quest. I don't actually remember what happens. It's been a long, long time, but I just remember it was kind of cool. Really, do I have to... D dude, speed the hell up. I'm Hello? Who the hell are you? Presence. Hear out Cyrodur first, then we'll speak. Well, okay, creepy lizard man. Are you there yet? Nice Holy team. shit, speed up. Welcome. You're now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. My God. I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings, feeding on the innocent as if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. Nonsense. Just use some hairspray and then ram them with your head. 
Okay, tell me about vampires. Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, we've been unsuccessful finding one. Until now. It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jenserik is a vampire and has already claimed one victim. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. Are you gonna pay me? That's all I care about. Now tell me about this Roland Jenserik guy. A few nights ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him and destroy him. You are the worst vampire hunter ever, and how do I find him? I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. My question is, how the hell are you vampire hunters if you can't even kill one? His home is located in the Temple District. Right across the garden from my home, in fact. Ironic, isn't it? Is it though, or is it all part of his genius plan? Vampires are nasty creatures. They drink the blood of others to conceal their true nature. Such trickery makes them difficult to find. What about the giant fangs? You may ask Gillen Norvallo or Greythroat about these creatures as well. They've learned much. Well, they can't be as useless as you, or can they? Who knows when Roland may strike again? You must hurry. Yes, yes, I must hurry, but in the meantime, I must rob you blind. Ha ha! T turn around. Perfect. Boom, we're in. Okay, what do we get? Absolutely jack shit. I was hoping for at least a steak or something. Like, seriously. They are the worst, I'm not kidding, the worst vampire hunters ever. There's three of them, and between them, they found one vampire, and they've never killed. Oh, Jesus! You scared the crap out of me, don't do that. And between them, they've never even actually managed to what kill the guy. Like, holy shit! Worst vampire hunters ever. Okay, so we're gonna go find this guy's house apparently. Now, I have no idea what the hell it is, but he did mention it was like directly behind here, so I'm assuming it's gonna be down here to the left. I don't want your ear guard, I do not want your freaking ear. So is it this way? Nope, it's this one. Yes, okay, perfect. Now, don't look at me. Ah! Finally, I only brought one damn lockpick, but that took forever. I was being very, very careful. Okay, we're in. Now, I assume we're looking for either him or some kind of evidence that he's a vampire. What's this shopping list? Apples, onions, lard, cheese, milk, blood. We've, we've caught him now. Okay, so I'm assuming he's probably going to be in his basement sleeping in a coffin or something. Would make sense to me, so we're going to check down there first. You know, if he's not down here, we can always go upstairs, but, uh... Yeah, I'm fully expecting to see coffins and shit all over the damn place. Well, apparently he's got a, a bar down here. This is a nice freaking basement. Are any of these blood or anything? Not that that would necessarily prove it, maybe it's a doctor, but, uh... It would look kind of suspicious. One freaking gold. I don't see a damn thing. We do have skooma. You drunky. Druggy, even. And we have some potions, okay? Right. So unless I'm missing something, there seems to be jack shit down here. Are these evidence? No. They're flyers. Okay. R really Is none of this blood or anything? R really Okay, so I guess we need to check upstairs. I am very, very surprised by this. Is there no hidden walls or anything? Surely there, there must be something down here. No, apparently not. Well, alright then, I guess we're going upstairs. Come, mate, and for God's sakes, don't get stuck again in the walls and start sweeping, because I know what you like. Really? Look at this shit! What? Good day. <laughs> I come through a freaking doorway, and she's sweeping! We are sneaking around the guy's house who's possibly a vampire, and you're sweeping the guy's floors. Priorities, woman, priorities. Holy shit. She drives me insane. Absolutely insane. Are you here? Thank you. Well, at least he's got some silverware to steal. And we just spill his uh, blueberries, blackberries, whatever the hell they are, all over the damn place. Yoink! Ah, uh, jewelry box. 
Please have some good shit in here, we need money for Crash 6. Okay, what do we get for all that damn trouble? Oh my god, a gold nugget. Holy shit, we can actually make a Midas magic spell with that. Probably nothing great, because, you know, you need other good ingredients, which we're not high enough level to get. But the point is, we can actually make something. I think we have another one that we stole uh, from one of the random houses. I didn't notice at the time, but, uh, yeah, I think we can make two spells. Count them. Two. Like, holy shit, out of, like, 300 that there are. So, uh, you know, it's a start, goddammit. It's a start. Right, I am seeing absolutely no evidence around here. It's got to be one of these chests, surely. Ah, uh -huh, starting to get a little tiny bit better at lockpicking. Well, there's a silver run and some gold, I guess that's something, but that is not the evidence that we're looking for. I feel like I've probably gone straight past it, because, uh, surely there has to be something here, because if there was nothing, I feel like the uh, journal would update and just say, well, I didn't find jack shit, maybe I should go back to the guy, but, uh, he hasn't done that, so I'm assuming there has to be something here. Is it here? No. Where the hell is go it, then? On. I have no idea anyway, let me unload the crap onto the maid and then we'll go check around again, because, uh, yeah, we must have missed it. Okay, so at this point I actually cannot find jack shit. Did the journal update not tell me? No. There has to be something here. Where the hell is it? Wait, what's this? Oh, I found something. Oh, thank you, God. My dearest Roland, I cannot wait for you to return from Brazil. My heart swells with joy as I know we will once again soon be together. I yearn for you every night that I look beside me in my bed and you are not there. How I wish I could have taken the journey with you, but I understand that these are dangerous times and I would only slow you down. When you return, perhaps we should go away from the chaos of the Imperial City. Let's go back to the cabin in the woods, the one where you said we would always be safe from the world. The one where you took me in your arms and sang songs of moonlight and happiness. The one where you said, I love you. Hurry, my love. Malfina, that's such a sad note. Okay, so I assume we have to go to the cabin in the woods. Not that I can actually check on the uh, world map, because I can't open the goddamn world map in the Imperial City, which is really freaking annoying. You have to go to the cabin. Now, before we do that, let's go to the Midas Magic Store and make some new spells with the two gold nuggets that we got, because it's about damn time. So, I'll see you there. Okay, we have arrived and shocking the maid kept up. God, I love that bell. I don't know why I love that bell so damn much, but I love that freaking bell. Okay, hey, buddy, I brought your maid back. And no, you can't keep her. She's mine. Right, so I believe the book on the right is going to be summoning, so we kind of want to check this one. I do want to use the summons, but it's not really the priority right now. Right now, we need an offensive spell, and I kind of want to mind this chest. So give me a moment here to go for all the goddamn pages, see what we can make, see what's going to be a good idea, then I'll bring it back in when I've decided. Okay, there is Midas Chest. Now, I believe we have all the ingredients, because uh, we definitely have the lockpick, and I think we did steal a whole bunch of silverware. I think we got an urn, so, uh, yeah, hopefully we don't have to go get them. Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay, right, let's make this damn thing. Like I say, this is just a chest you can summon. I don't think you can do it in combat, and you can store whatever the hell you want. It's kind of like cheating, but at the same time, the fact that you have to make the damn spell, it makes it a lot more balanced, in my opinion, and, you know... Really, all it does is save you a whole bunch of backtracking and go pick up and drop off loot all the time, so all it really does is save you time, and, you know, I don't see that as cheating, especially when you have to make it, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I think we, yes, we cast the spell out. Okay, I can't believe I actually remember that. So now we get a aura and residue, we eat that, and then we get the spell, and then we can use it whenever the hell we want. But again, just like every spell in the game, you actually need the requirements, because, uh, yeah, the one bad thing is Midas Magic doesn't actually tell you the requirements until you've made the damn thing, so you kind of want to save before you start dicking around with the stuff, but uh, I think the chest is just uh, like level 1 or something. Might be wrong about that, but either way we can actually use the damn thing, so that's something. Okay, we got one more gold nugget. Let me again go through the pages and we'll see what we can make. We kind of want at least one offensive spell here, but I don't really know if we can, because most of the things you need are, you know, like uh, Frost Swords and Fire Swords, which you get from the Atronox, Atronox, whatever the hell you want to call them, and we don't even have access to them yet because we're not high enough levels, so... Yeah, not entirely sure what we can make, but we must be able to make something. At least I think so. Okay, quite some time later, I think about the only one we can really make and use is Midas Sparks, and I think we have a flawed topaz. We do have a whole bunch of the... Yeah, okay, perfect. Right, to make this damn thing, I like I say, I'm pretty sure we can use this because it says it's low level, so... Uh, yeah, I'll be surprised if we can't, but you never freaking know. Now, what we could do is break into, like, an alchemy uh, store or something, maybe get some swords that way, or maybe just buy some, because I think you can before you can actually fight the Atronox, and that might be a good idea, but we'll do that later when we get some more nuggets again. That's kind of high-level spells that we probably can't even cast right now, so it's not really a huge concern. 
Okay, anyway, we got the chest of one new offenses, but we'll just our next time we get in combat. You know the drill, I'm gonna travel to the guy in the woods. If we find something interesting along the way, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll just see you when we arrive. Okay, I figure we may as well start from here, because this is the alien ruin that we went in in episode 2, so I'm assuming, yeah, the bandits are back, so... We got perfect candidates to test our new spell out on. Shocking. Damn it, I missed it. God damn it. Come here, you... Okay, apparently the mage is just gonna wipe everyone out. God damn it. Let me hit you. Ah! Okay, how much damage does that do? Not bad. Looks like it does damage over time. Well, they're all dead. Okay, well, at least we got to test it out. Looks like it's okay. It's probably the best spell that we have right now, but again, it's like the most low-level one, so he can't really... Holy shit! What the hell did you just do? I... Where did her body go? Did you just expl... I saw a bunch of blood. Did you explode her from the inside or something? Oh, she's over there! What the hell was that? I do not know what the mage just did, but that was freaking amazing. I hope I can do that. Anyway, so yeah. It's like the most basic Midas magic spell, so... That's a little tiny taster of how good they get. Trust me, they get freaking insane. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, we have a ride, and trust me, you missed nothing. I had to walk in a giant circle around a hill. It was very, very boring. What's up, buddy? Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. My god, he's a psychic vampire. Vampires? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? Because I met a dude with Jedward hair and he said you are one. That bastard. Seri Dodez accused me of being a vampire? Me? Ha! Ah, he's the one who is the vampire. Well, shit. I've been duped. Okay, tell me about the guy. I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. Well, if he's a vampire, I'd probably kick your ass. Calm down some for Christ's sakes. I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I've forgotten my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time, I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Ralphina. I'm sorry, I can't get over what a horrible name Ralphina is. What happened that faithful night? Yes. I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Ralphina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. That hussy! I burst from my hiding place and attacked Seridor. He became startled for a moment and tossed Ralphina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. I was about to ask why I didn't kill you. Good cover. Why didn't you tell someone? I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. You mean you ran away, you pussy. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Uh, no, I assume he's telling the truth, which means the other guys lied to us, so screw them, I'm not Thank gonna you. kill him. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. I bet you are, buddy. Okay, tell me more. As you know, the vampire can't remain in sunlight. I'd wager that you'll never see Seridor outside during that time of day. Well, by that logic, I'm a vampire too. Well, you might have a point. I know about Seridor and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them? You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the market district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Grace wrote anything, but you could always try. Except the bookstores only open during the day, so Remain boom goes your logic. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. Yeah, yeah apparently so, because he fooled me, you know. Let's sure lie to me too, which is entirely possible, but uh, I don't think he is. Anyway, so the reason I didn't kill him is because, again, even though I don't necessarily play a good guy, at the same time, this guy, I think, is telling us the truth, which means the other guys lied to us, so basically screw them. So next time, we go get vengeance. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.